Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. Hello, welcome back everyone. Today I am going to discuss a new topic in radiology that's lymphoma. It's one of the commonest diseases in the radiology field. So actually lymphoma accounts for 4% of all cancers. Uh, there are many ways of presentation of lymphoma. One is uh, lump, lumps in the neck or abdomen. Another uh, symptoms are fever, night sweats, loss of weight and loss of appetite. Uh, there are several types, two main types of lymphoma actually. Uh, that's Hodgkin lymphoma which accounts for 40% and not Jones Hodgkin's lymphoma which accounts for 60%. So there are two main types. And it's a multi-system disease. It affects lymphatic system mainly, then central nervous system, orbit, gastrointestinal system, joint immune system, musculoskeletal system, respiratory system, and also our skin. And uh, in this video, our main aim is to describe imaging features of lymphoma. Let's start with the x-ray. And this is the frontal chest radiograph of skeletal mature patient. Here you can see a superior media standard widening with lobulated outline. And uh, there are no air fluid level, air bronchograms, no calcification, no cavitation. So basically there's superior medial standard widening with lobulated outline and there's a superior medial standard mass and the lung fields appear normal and there's the main problem is medial standard widening and uh, the next thing next chest x-ray is you can see there are reticular nodule opacifications you can see nodules small nodules of tissue density mainly distributed in the lower zones bilaterally and also you can see some reticular markings also reticular pacifications so it's another presentation of lymphoma in the lung parenchyma reticular nodular opacifications so it's uh, another presentation apart from superior media stainal white new media stainal masses so this is lung parenchymal involvement in, in the lymphoma it's another presentation is uh, nodules you can see multiple soft tissue downs, density nodules here yeah. no uh, fluid level no abnormal and no calcifications so these are multiple nodules in the lungs appears like a cannonball appearance and actually it's a lymphoma in the lungs so it's another presentation of the lymphoma the next line of investigation is contrast in a CT chest here you, this is the media stainal window this is the contrast CT you can see the anterior media stainal mass enhancing mass so it's a lip node mass and uh, you don't see any lung nodules here enhancing node in the lung so this is the media stainal mass it's actually lip node mass next CTs there are here multiple masses Actually, these are lymph nodes, enhancing rounded lymph nodes. Here you can see in the mediastinum. So, they are multiple in nature, rounded enhancing. There are no calcifications or necrosis. If there are calcification and necrosis, then you have to think of tuberculosis. Other cause for multiple lymphadenopathies, uh, stage 1 sarcoidosis can also get lymphadenopathy you can see a pleural effusion mild pleural effusions bilaterally so uh, trachea is also compressed due to the lymphadenopathy next CT is here media stainal window contrast in NC just it's again uh, media stainal mass enhancing large mass there are some necrosis due to uh, size of that mass and also there's a insisted pleural effusion you can see so it's also a manifestation of lymphoma. It's not a common one, pleural effusions, but pleural effusions can also present with lymphoma. So you can see another node here. So it's a, another lymphoma presentation in the chest. This one is uh, contrast in density abdomen. You can see multiple masses in the retroperitoneum. These are multiple enlarged lymph nodes. These are enhancing nodes. Some nodes show necrosis. So it's a paraiotic lymph nodes. The aorta is also compressed. 
due to the mass effect so this is abdominal lymphadenopathy in the parotid region next thing is uh, neck is the coronal section of the neck so it's an uncontrast ct you can see multiple cervical lymphadenopathy rounded enlarged lymph nodes almost all levels in the neck here you can see supraclavicular also and level 3 level 4 and uh, all those regions are involved and so this is cervical lymphadenopathy and then you can see the lymph nodes when you do the ultrasound scan of the neck you can see multiple rounded matted nodes you can see this is the ultrasound scan of the neck you can see the fatty hilum is you can't see and the lymph nodes are enlarged and rounded and there are no necrosis no evidence of calcified foci and uh, so this is cell lymphadenopathy in the neck this this kind of appearance can also see in the abdomen when you do the abdominal scan in the parotid region so this is uh, another investigation to see the lymphadenopathy that is ultrasound neck now so you can see our sound do ultrasound abdomen so that concludes the lymphoma series seen in radiology med dc please subscribe our youtube channel then you'll get notifications of our new videos and also you can comment on our videos thank you everyone thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more videos like this